you are in charge of deciding the size of a parking structure outside the mall. The question is, how many parking spaces do you need? Too many will cost too much, and too few and the mall will lose customers. Here's the parking structure with a number of parking spaces. Cars arrive to this parking structure. The number of parking spaces is limited and shared by the customers using the mall. An arriving car will park the car if there are spaces left. After being parked for a while, the car will leave the system. When the parking lot is full, an arriving car will leave the system and not come back. The cars arrive at random, and the cars stay parked for a random time. So let's say you observe the following. Average arrival rate is 100 per hour, and average time parked is equal to 1 hour. What is the blocking probability if there are 100 parking spaces? This is similar to the kind of problems Agner Kradop Erlang worked on. Except Agner did not work with parking structures. He worked with the telephone system. How many lines do we need to serve the town? Too few, and the chance of getting a line becomes very small. Too many will be too costly. As you see, the problem is the same as for the parking structure. Cars or phone calls share a limited number of resources. We have arriving customers where one customer requires one server. When all servers are busy, serving a customer, an arriving customer is lost or blocked from the system. When doing a mathematical analysis, it is convenient to work with memoryless distributions. And Erlang showed that the new calls follow a Poisson process. He assumed that the duration of the call follows a negative distribution. Let the parameter of the Poisson process be lambda. And for the negative exponential, the parameter is mu. The offer traffic A is then lambda over mu. Traffic is measured in Erlang. To see what Erlang did, consider this scenario with only three lines or servers. If all three lines are busy, an arrival call is lost and leaves the system. Let the system state I denote the number of busy lines or servers will now derive the state probabilities. The system can be in one of four states. Zero busy servers, one, two, or three busy servers. We then draw in the transition intensities. We solve the state probabilities by placing a cut between two adjacent states. And in steady state, we have that balance between state 0 and 1 requires this, between state 1 and 2, we have this equation, and between state 2 and 3, we have this equation. Rearranging, we get these equations. And in general, we have that the state probability is given on this form. Now, we also must remember that we must have that the sum of our probabilities must be equal to 1. Combining these now, and we get this formula for the state probabilities. The probability that a call is blocked will then be the probability that the system is in state 3. And this is just what Erlang did. For a system with n servers, the blocking probability is given by this formula. This is the Erlang loss formula, and it's also called the Erlang first formula and the Erlang B formula and it has been used extensively for dimensioning purposes throughout the years. 
Though the formula is simple, numerical problems may occur for large values of n. The Erlang recursion formula can be used to simplify the calculations. Without the aid of a computer, the Erlang loss formula can be evaluated using tables. For example, if we want a blocking probability of 5% and we have 20 lines, we can handle an offer traffic of 11.9. So let's go back to the parking lot. We have the average arrival rate was 100 per hour and the average time parked is one hour. The question was, what is the blocking probability if there are 100 parking spaces? So let's now assume that the cars arrive following a Poisson process and the time parked is negative exponentially distributed. With these assumptions, we can use the Erlang loss formula to calculate the blocking probability. Now we can use some computer program or the calculator, but the easiest way to evaluate this formula is by using the Erlang dial. For different offer traffic and number of servers, we can read off the blocking probabilities along the red line. For offer traffic of 100 and for 100 parking slots or spaces, we see that the blocking probability is 7%.